I have already flashed a micro SD card with Raspbian Stretch Lite. Uh, for this tutorial, I am using a Raspberry Pi Zero, uh, but these instructions will work for any of the Raspberry Pis. Uh, just know that these instructions are tailored for the Raspbian Stretch Lite install. So at this point, I have started the Pi and we are ready to log in and get started. So let's log into the Pi account, but only to create a new account. So we're going to use Pi as the username and Raspberry as the password. Okay, so now that we are logged into the Raspberry Pi, we are going to enter a command to create a new user account. So we're going to use sudo add user and I'm going to use the master here, a little reference to the Doctor Who, but feel free to use whatever you wish. Okay, that's gonna ask for a password. And again, and it's gonna ask for some information about that user. And I'm just gonna put the full name and press enter for the rest of this. And yes, that information is correct. Okay, so now that we have a new user account created, uh, the next thing that we need to do is give that user a uh, sudo or super user privileges. And we do that with this command, sudo user mod minus A for assign or add and minus G for group and we want to give them access to the sudo group and then we specify the user that we want to give access to that group okay so now that we've created the new account we've given it permission uh, to the sudo group we need to exit out of the pi account you can do that simply by typing exit pressing enter and let's log in to the new account Okay, so now that we are logged into the new account, we need to check to see if we gave ourselves super user privileges successfully. And the easiest way to do that is by opening a file that only super users can open. So we will issue the command sudo vi sudo, and then we enter our password. Okay, so the file opens successfully. If we didn't have permission to open this file, uh, this is the sudoers file. If we didn't have permission to open it, we would have gotten an error indicating that we do not have permission. So we don't need to do anything with this file. We can exit out of it simply by typing control X. Okay, and we're done with that. So now that we've you know got the new account created, we're logged into it, we've verified, that we have super user privileges, we're ready to say goodbye to the Pi account. We can delete it and get rid of it forever. So let's issue the command sudo delete user or DL user and the name of the account, which is Pi, press enter. Okay, so it has removed the user. And then the next thing that we need to do is remove the Pi accounts home folder. And to do that, we sudo rm minus r slash home slash pi, which is where the uh, pi's home folder is stored. Okay, so now that that has been successfully completed, uh, the next thing that we need to do is apply a password to root. And that one is very simple to do just by issuing the command sudo pass wd root and then we will give it a password okay and to test that you can type in the command uh, su for switch user and then we're going to put a minus sign here to indicate we want to go into the root account and then it's going to ask for the root password 
Okay, so now you can see on the command line we are in uh, the root account. And just to verify, I will type in who am I? I am root. And then you can get out of it by typing exit. And we were back at the master's account. Okay, so that is it for user setup tasks for now.